I graduated on Friday uh, with an ADN nursing degree and um, been celebrating and saying goodbye to friends and getting ready to move out of college and get on with my career. I have a position um, that I'm going to be starting next month at St. Alexis Hospital in Bismarck. I'm going to be working in the operating room. While I was working as, um, like I said, a processing accounts payable internationally for a computer company and I was still working as a hairdresser part-time when my father was um, sick with cancer and he was at home on hospice care and I became one of his primary caregivers. And as the hospice nurses and home health care nurses were coming in and caring for my, my father, I was watching them work and, and just feeling like I should be doing that. I mean, why am I not doing a job where I'm um, taking care of people? And um, I thought about it then, and it just kind of, the seed was planted in the back of my mind, and I didn't really do too much about it. And then shortly after that, I moved out of state where I took care of a woman with Alzheimer's disease, and I lived with that family for five years. And it was then, while I was taking care of her, that she had other health problems too. And being her caregiver, going to clinic appointments and, and that sort of thing, I um, just became very involved in her health care and um, just decided that I wanted to get into it some more myself. It's very intense. It takes a lot of your time. Uh, the classes are fast-paced. And um, it, it, it's not unusual to be tested on five to seven chapters every week. So it's a lot of reading, a lot of studying, a lot of long hours, staying up late at night, getting up early in the morning. Um, I, I spent a lot of time studying with my friends in the library this year. And um, you may have clinicals out of town the next day. Your clinical may start at 6.30 in the morning, so you are up late doing homework, up early in the morning to get to a clinical, and it might even be out of town, so if there's some travel time. Nice variety of students here. Um, international students, uh, some kids from other small towns, local students, kind of from all over. Well, this time going to school, I moved into the dorm, which I didn't do when I was younger, first time around, so that was a, a, an experience, and it was fun. It was a lot, of, a lot of fun, just being right here, get up in the morning, go to my classes, didn't have to, you know, drive anywhere, had breakfast ready for me, and... <laughs> oh, one instructor in particular was for the um, ATI session that we had the last week of school. It was um, a review to gear us up for the NCLEX exam. And this instructor was brought in from Florida. She was very knowledgeable. She really was a good teacher. And if we had any questions, she knew the answer. Or if she didn't know it, she got back the next day or that evening with an email. Um, she was very good. Eileen um, Woolwine was a new instructor that we had this year, and she was has a real passion about um, the field and, and she made learning fun and she was a very, very good instructor. I'm sure that I will be doing some um, continuing education as far as learning more about working in an operating room and it's um, something that in the medical field there's always continuing education. But I plan on going to the community college in Bismarck just for some fun evening classes. I'd like to take some art classes now or maybe another music course. First of all, you have to be serious about doing it because if you aren't willing to dedicate all of that time to studying, it's not going to work. But if you really want to do it, you can. And just try to be as organized as you can and to stay, try to stay on top of things because you don't want to fall behind. Variety is fun and 
um, if, if you have a, a feeling about changing a career or going back to school or just wanting to learn to do anything, just do it. You got nothing to lose, just do it. It's, it's fun and you'll learn something and it'll be a good experience.